stop my recording <laughs> otherwise <laughs> most of the the video won't get recorded so i've started recording for those who have been asking me to record okay so alpha you've asked that why why is the right for me in in seo disappeared i also wondered that too again just to mention to people i'm not directly affiliated here with, with um closest copy so I'm also like you, just using closer copy. It's just that I've I, I really loved um, the tool and, and dug in deep. So I was surprised when I checked for that as well, because I thought that was a very useful thing. The reason I think that might have been removed is because whenever I used the right for me, I didn't think it was that effective yet. So I, I have an impression that Nico is trying to optimize it very well to make it reappear later on. Okay, so let's look for any SEO questions. I felt that copying competitors' text from their website and then using the rewrite option was a very time-consuming process. All of this while higher, um, hitting the SEO keywords as much as possible. Okay, I can understand what you're saying there. I think for me, one of the... One of the toughest things about doing SEO has been it's time consuming, it's draining. Um, you have to find the words and, and, and try to find, make it fit. It's all just so time consuming. And this is one of the reasons why I, I've created some of those SEO frameworks, which we'll be talking about today. Cool. Okay. Just to quick int quickly introduce myself for those who are still wondering, who is this Adewale that keeps popping up on the closest copy group, right? Um, so, first of all, my my um, my background. I'm, I'm a psychotherapist, so my background is in helping people um, deal with emotional health problems. Um, and initially, I started my my writing processes just trying to teach people how to cope. And that's why I developed this, the website, stresstherapist.net. And that was almost going 11 years ago when I started stresstherapist.net. And I've been through so many gurus trying to learn what to do, how to get it all working. And so many people have cheated me out of a lot of funds. Um, in the process of trying to learn how to write properly, how to be attract, write attractively, how to do SEO properly and all these things. It's been a bit of a jungle out there. So I don't know if you all know ClickFunnels. So I've been on the ClickFunnels band that I got. <laughs> and um, I've tried um, funnel, um, funnel scripts, which for, for what it does, it's good. But I felt it just gave me too much headache when they sell it, they sell it almost as this thing that will write the scripts for you. But then when you dig into it, you, you realize, mm, you still have to do a lot of brain work before you can really get any good stuff out of um, Fortnite scripts. You have to, ha you have to have the experience. You have to do a lot of brain work. You have to do the research. There's just so much you have to do before a lot of the tools that was there before style could work. So when the AI st stuff started to come on board, I was I was quite intrigued. Tried a, a number of them from AppSumo, but all of them they had this process where they were just doing. They'll give you they'll give you modules, modules, headline for writing blogs and all these things. They give you all these modules, and you are stuck with whatever they they provide for you, and it was impossible to to achieve and push anything in the way I wanted it, the kind of dreams, the visions I had in my head, it was impossible to achieve that. Then I came across um, a software called Shortly. Shortly? I don't know if anybody came across Shortly when it was there. Anybody? Um, and Shortly was sort of like the first long form um, AI writer that, that I came across. And it did a good job. And it did this thing where it allowed you to create patterns where then it's it writes whatever you wanted to write using those patterns. Um, and that's where I started and I was learning to write different things using patterns. And that sort of gave me sort of what I was looking for 
until the guys who own Jasper decided to buy shortly and just broke the whole thing. So I, at that moment, I had about 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 a few months before I had bought into Closest Copy, and Closest Copy was crashing almost every every minute, crashing, constantly crashing. So I didn't even think anything about Closest Copy until Nico mentioned the frameworks. And that just blew my mind. Right. Okay. All right. So I've said I'm not going to talk about frameworks today. But that that was where I came into Closest Copy. And because I saw the, the power of frameworks, so I went into the groups. I said, wow, this has blown my mind. And people were wondering what I was, what I was raving for, what was so big that I was raving for. And... And that's why I started to do the videos for Closest Copy. Up until the point that I started doing videos for Closest Copy, I wasn't really much into videos. I just said, okay, let's just try this thing. And I did the video copy. I'm surprised how it sort of caught on. All right. So that's my, that's a, a little bit about me. Um, so today, what we are going to be doing, um, I want to try and see how I can make this as beneficial as possible for you, you all want to kind of explore writing SEO content, SEO optimized content using Closest Copy. Um, and I'm thinking to do it in two ways. One, to start to, to start a, a completely new article and just walk you through the process that I would think of to, to make Closest Copy work for me. Um, and then two, We'll take an already written article that has not been optimized at all and go through a process that we would use to try and optimize this. I don't know if those two um, ideas, people are happy with us for us to go down that those two roads. Or do you, if anybody has any other ideas, please just pop it in. Just to make sure that, that everybody's happy with this, can I just hear, get a, a few yes, I'm happy, thumbs up, whatever you feel comfortable to do. Yes. Yeah, I have just one yes so far. Yep, 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 yes. Okay, cool. All right. So what, what I like, I would like is for the article that we are going to write from, from the beginning, I don't know if you will have enough time to write the whole thing. Um, can somebody just suggest an article title um, within their niche and we'll run with that. And then for the article that we want to optimize, if anybody has an article already that, that you've written that hasn't been optimized at all for SEO, we can opt use this opportunity to kind of optimize that article using CC. So let's take the first one that came through. We need to understand how to think before using CC. Um, Bojan, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Can you mind clarifying how to think? What do you mean by you know, we need to understand how to think before using CC? Because my hope is that most of the people on here already knows how to use CC. We're just focusing more on how to use CC to optimize SEO for SEO. So, Bojan, if you can elaborate on what you mean by um, we need to understand how to think, I'll come back to your question then. Okay. So, the first one that came through was Bathroom Remodeling by Ricardo. Okay. So, what we want to sort of assume, first of all, is that, Ricardo, you've done your initial SEO um, research to make sure that that um, bathroom remodeling is a keyword that has a lot of traffic and it's low enough to 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 win based on the 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 ranking of your website already so if your website is is low you have you don't have any rankings at all you want to make sure that that bathroom remodeling is something that's low enough um has enough traffic but low enough for you to to reach so we're just assume that that's the case so we're going to take the bathroom remodeling to start with Okay. 
Okay. Now, because of the way CC might delay whenever we do a, we, we run any of the, the requests, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be jumping from one project to the other so that we do not waste too much time waiting for it to, to run. So I hope people will be able to follow through as I'm going. So bathroom re remodeling is the keyword that we're working with. So let's just open the SEO tool. So first of all, just to make sure that everybody understands the, the, the tools we are using. Today, we're going to be using most of the tools. Obviously, history just sounds for, it's just whatever you've done already around the SEO um, or search and audit. So we're going to just place our, our keyword in the search. Now, I prefer, I prefer to put 20. And this is something that I feel is still a bit of a limitation with, with closest copy. I prefer to have access to the whole 20, first 20 articles, but closest copy limits you to five. So I would run an audit on the 20. So, sorry, I run, I run a search on the 20, choose um, five. Now, um, is it Ricardo? Ricardo? Um, I'm presuming that you're already into bathroom remodeling stuff. So looking at these, do you mind switching your mic on, Ricardo? It's on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool. Right. So can you just tell me which, which one of these feels relevant to bathroom rem remodeling? Um, ba the Bob Villa one. The what? Uh, Bob Villa, which is uh, how much does a bathroom remodeling cost? A guide to bathroom remodeling. So it'd be okay. one, two, three, number four. This that one. one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next one. We just want four more. Any more here? Uh, I think your mic is off. Um. All right. This old house also, the next, the one below that. This one. Uh-huh. Okay. And then, um, I mean, honestly, any one of those next three are good. Okay, just choose the next three. Okay, thanks. Oh. So we run the audit on that. And now, I believe most people perhaps know, know how to do this already, hopefully, um, because I think the the... Closest copies YouTube, um, YouTube videos explain this part very well. Now, what I would do to make sure I, I, I've covered all my bases, I will run the audit on five. I'll take out what I want from that five, and I and I and I will run the audit on another five of those twenty, and then another five until I'm satisfied with what how many I have, how many words and keywords I have. Now, this is another place where I struggled a little bit with the closest copy. I would love to be able to click on these and have the words just click over into my article. Yeah. Would love to be able to just click on this, have my word, but the way uh, it's currently done is to click on and it pulls up, scrolls up to one of the blurbs to just kind of explain what it's all it's all about right now so this is how i want us to start thinking we could we could decide that we want to write this article and before we write this article we just go around fishing for all these tiny minute keywords that will help us write the article that's the hard way of doing it i wouldn't advise anybody to do it that way because there's another way you can do it that closest copy would do the work of pulling in all these small, um, all these small keywords into your article. So that by the time you finish writing the article, all you're just needing to focus on is the initial outline, making sure that the initial outline has enough um, relevant keywords to the article you're trying to write in it. 
I hope that makes sense. Uh, but we'll just kind of work through it. So, so don't go about trying to to pull the these words in to try and make sure that you have all the words you want because that's going to be a hard hard way of doing it. Another thing, just to mention, when when people have um some of the people have have que have asked um some questions already, um this. What's it called now? I've drawn a blank. <laughs> um, should I call it a thermometer? <laughs> Can't remember a meter. Sure. A meter, yeah, right. So this meter, this meter. Now, some people are expecting that in order for your article to rank properly, this meter should show should be at a hundred. But this meter is, is, is better to know how to think about it because it's not as clear cut as other me meters that you find on, on other SE SEO tools. Because if I came into this article, for example, and I brought the same headline, look, see how it says that it needs at least um, 52 paragraphs. It needs at least 52 paragraphs. Currently, I'm at 12. So if I was to copy this word, right? And I copy it and just paste it down 52 times. It's going to tell me, oh, I've met, I've met this goal. And it will increase the rankings here. So in other words, what I'm trying to say here is don't go purely based on what happens here. This is a bit of a guide to show you that, okay, whatever you're doing is starting to increase. You have to make sure that you're still putting the correct content in. I hope that was useful to to explain. Because if you if you are expecting, for example, if you reach fifty two percent or so, you're thinking, oh, why am I not getting to hundred? Well, some of these words here may not be relevant at all to your content that you are writing for the for that moment, and 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 you really need to go in there to deselect them. Because if you don't deselect them it will rank you lower based on the, the words that are in here. So in other words, sometimes some of the words there in here don't work to what you want. And that's why Nico has given us the option of being able to bring in some of our own keywords. So if you have other keywords that you felt is relevant to your article, um, you can put it in here. Okay. So on one hand, there's some strengths and weaknesses to this. There's, the weaknesses is that is causing you to do some more work into trying to find the all the, the 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 keywords you need, but the strength is that it creates a bit of a flexibility where you are more likely to end up with an article that is unique, more unique than the the things on the first page of Google, while still meeting the requirements or of the SEO requirements on the first page of Google. I hope that made sense. So we just use this as a guide, this whole process as a guide, and that guide is helping us to just make sure that we are, we are fulfilling the requirements of SEO without being so uh, dogmatic of the exact words we are using. Because when you start to sound similar to everybody else, Google starts to think, okay, this is not as, as useful I don't need to have these types of similar, two similar articles on this first page. Let's move it to second page. You want your page to still be unique enough. And so the way Nico has done it enables you to have control over the uniqueness of your article as well as still, still keeping an eye on how the SEO matches with the first 10 um, in the SERPs. I hope, okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So we've got our audit done. So first thing I would do next would be to go to the planner. While that is running, let's go to the other thing. Did, did somebody um, suggest an article that they've already written that needs or, um, optimizing yet? I can't see any. If you have an article that is optimizing, just put a link to the article here so we can use that as a as, so, as something to work with. So, okay, this is working now, right? 
Okay, so we've got here. Some of the keywords. Now, this is another thing that's interesting because usually what we're looking for here here is more like the the heading titles, but sometimes it's picking up some paragraphs. I think Nico is doing some um, updating. Okay, um, where's he? Here. Ricardo, please, I need your help here again so that we are we're within what you expect. I'm here. All right, so uh -huh. so just tell me what to choose over quickly. Uh, heading to uh, bathroom renovation and bathroom modeling. That one, what is the difference above? Above, what yeah. Is it? Uh, that one, huh? Uh, factors in calculating the cost of bathroom remodels. Um, sorry, I meant, oh, we did. Uh, well, we already have something similar. How much does this bathroom remodel cost? I'm I'm trying to stay within the same. Uh, it, it, over in the second column, this old house, yeah, at the very top, heading one. Oh, so this one. Uh huh. Yeah. That the other one was fine too. And then uh, bathroom ideas. Uh, third column bathroom remodeling ideas. And that that's pretty good. Okay. I mean, so the, the, I, I I yeah. You think this is enough? to start off with yeah i don't want to uh drain the time for you okay okay so whoops where did it disappear to oh i need to cancel something That's what it's like. Why isn't it? Oh, it says add into the line at the top. Okay. Okay, I just want to. So, what I have. What's it around in the bathroom? It's sort of taking my <laughs> my introduction away. Anyway, I can walk ahead. So what we have here, let's remove that. Okay, so oops. What room idea is a different one? So there we go. Okay. I just want to remove what I have here first, just so we see. So with that, we've sort of raised to ten percent, right? I believe everybody knows how to do it up to this point, don't we? So here what I would hope for is that once I have gotten all of my headlines, that at least perhaps with the headlines, which would sort of imitate a little bit the paragraphs I'm going to be having here, uh, and they should perhaps be around 25, at around 25, because we are hoping to catch um, 80, 52 paragraphs. Okay, so what then I'll do is to take each heading and, and go to the frameworks. Now, does everybody know about the, the SEO friendly frameworks that I, that I created some time ago? Yeah. Just need some yeses. No, oh, sorry, okay. No, no, right, no. Oh, a lot of people don't know about it. That's surprising. Okay, cancel, you know about it. Okay. So if you go, it's already in the community. So 
And the reason I created the SEO friendly frameworks is because after three months of trying to make closest copy um, help me properly with my SEO work, tried so many ideas, none of it worked. So the only this is the only way I could get closest copy to get um, give SEO friendly content. So created. So if you go if you go to the YouTube channel and look for. Um, SEO and closest copy. There is a video there that just walks you through how I created the the, the framework, so that you, if you want to to kind of follow that, you can do that. So in closest copy, if you type in SEO friendly under my name, you should find all these different frameworks. Uh, they are all very good for pulling out SEO type copy. In other words, they will fill the paragraphs with with the answers you're looking for with the paragraphs and the phrases you're looking for but would also fill it with, it with the right keywords that are relevant to the to each um of the paragraphs so i like to use this silo body content one that was the first one i created and with this silo body content you could just literally just use that alone to carry on with all the um all your article However, just because of the way I'd like to do my things, sometimes I want to go in more in depth. So I've created something, some more where you can write about how, for example, if you want to write about how um, fasting affects fasting affects your weight, how thing A causes thing B to, or, or how, how to do something, the signs, that some problem is about to happen. So just to go in more depth, I've created all of this. You can find all of that in the community. So just go to the silo bully content um, one. And what you have to do here, you put in the main title and the subtopic. We're well, assuming here that the main title is bathroom remodeling. So let's put that there. and then bring the subtopic in here. Okay. I'll do it right for me. Okay, did we get anybody bring in a, an article suggestion? We haven't got that yet. Maybe we won't do that then. Okay. So just to save time, I will just um, use this first one. Before I put it in, just want to remind us what the SEO score was saying, nine. So what should happen as I add this, what we just um, created, that should increase the SEO score slightly. So back to frameworks, that's that. Okay, let's go ahead and SEO. Risk risk to 13. I don't know if you see what I'm saying there. So you're not, it's actually come in here and it's added some of the words here without you having to go about starting to figure out what words to add. Yeah. Just using the SEO, um, or those SEO um, frameworks, you, you just jump, jump a lot of hoops of things you would have had to do. To do. I don't know. Does that make sense to people? Just say yes, it makes sense. Does that seem does that seem like a useful thing? Can I can I say something? Yes, please go ahead. So I, I was using the rewrite option. I was going to all the competitors um, that basically some of the ones that you chose. And it was so difficult. Uh, it was time consuming. Yeah. And this just the frameworks that you just put 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 up, um, it basically answered the question. And hit the keywords. Um, I know I still have to fine tune, but man, I love this. This is good. Thank you. Oh, good, great, great stuff. So, so what you, what you find is yes, you might still have to fine tune and, and add stuff. By doing this, you could just literally go through your article one through three, answer all the questions, fill it in, choose what is relevant to you, what you really like, and just and go through the article, and you will you will fill in all these 
all the different words, except words that are perhaps not really relevant to your article. Yeah. Which I would suggest that you do, all you just have to do is to un un unhook um, by just pressing the, the sunlight. Uh, and this will rise. Now, I say to people that this this um, meter is, is great. But after you finish writing your article completely, even if it's saying 100, I will still te test it out with a, number dif a few different um, other tools to see if they all say, oh, you are in the higher range. You may not be the exact number for all of them because they are all using different types of metrics and different things to, to measure. But if you are in a higher range of three or four different tools, you are, you are most definitely um, likely to, to, have to win. And I say win because most of the articles I've written following this process, um, <laughs> just Google. Google is a tough, tough nut to crack. Almost all the other um, the search engines are on the first page, first page, second page, third page. Now Google, um, I was a bad boy some some, some years ago. I I went black hats without realizing I went. I was doing black hats. Some people who I paid money to advised me on doing certain things on my website, and I got really really uh, knocked um, knocked down to completely zero. For a number of years, um, between last year and this year, Google started to pick up my site again. So now, where before I used to be on page one of of, of a lot of things, now I'm, I'm I'm now some pages have come to page one, but a lot of pages are, are between page three and four. So this is for a recovering site, badly recovering site. You can see how closest copy um, process this process I'm showing you is, is quite effective. Okay, so so we got that. Something else that I'd like to show you. So in order to make your content even more unique, I feel it is important that you, you don't just rely on what it's what it spits out on its own. Sometimes that's useful, that's okay. And you if that if you want to go down that route, I think it's okay. I'm not saying it's bad, but I find that sometimes I, I actually prefer to say, oh, I like it up to this content here. Let's take it up to this content here. Um, now you may notice that I've actually copied this thing called body content. This is just because of, I decided to start using a key. In other words, when I wrote my framework examples, there's a body content there. So closer copies knows that that's where um, it starts to answer and give me the content from. So I just use that, put that key in, and then closer copy can give me things from here on. So now that's getting up to here, I could now not say, okay, that's giving me number one. I could put number two, and then I could get closer copy to now run from here on, and it will still be giving me things that've got keyword related um, keys keywords in there. So it's giving me number two. Um, whoops, what have I done? Let's copy first, put it here. I could I could keep going. Number three. Whoops, what was that? Number two. So in other words, when you are using the, the silo body content, you are not restricted. You can you can go in any direction you want. So I could decide to um, delete all of this here now, leave the key in, delete all of this here, and I could just start, okay, how can I start? Uh, I could start a sentence by saying, just choose anything out of my head. Let's say, what if? Uh, what if and what closest copy 
would do is go from there and it will still give you content that is relevant and still has keywords in it. So what if I told you that you could get away with remodeling your bathroom for one thousand dollars now? Now I, this is not my field. I don't know whether that's a that's a bargain. Um, Ricardo, is that a bargain? Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> All right. So so somebody who wants to remodel their bathroom when they come and see this, they're thinking, "Wow, I want to read this through." Right. Um, so so the the content remains engaging. And it's also keeping the keywords in. So you can you can stop having to think about the keywords whilst you are creating the content. For me, I felt that was useful because keywords were just giving me a headache. Was literally giving me a headache. So I felt, okay, well, let's let AI do the lifting, heavy lifting of the keywords. Let me just give it the structure. And then we can use this process to, to achieve that. Okay. So, Mans, Mansing, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly. You say you are new in closest copy. Okay, so some of what I'm saying might be sounding unfamiliar to you, Mansing. I would really suggest um, if you go to if you go to um, my YouTube um, channel. I just assume that people know the, my YouTube channel. I just post my post my YouTube channel in the chat box here, and do a search for. Closest copy of frameworks. I think that's a good place to start. Um, if I can find it. So if you go to the web, my, my YouTube channel and start doing a search on, on frameworks, uh, Manish, I think that's a good place to start to start getting you going. Um, Ricardo, you're asking what do I charge for one-on-one -on -one tutorial? <laughs> <laughs> that's not something that I have considered yet, but but we we can talk uh, we can talk about that um, later on. Is that okay, Ricardo? Uh, yes, I mean, your knowledge is just extensive, so you'll save me a lot of headaches. I'm willing yeah. to pay. Cool, cool. All right. So, so if I may ask people, you see, just what I just taught you there, that's enough for you to solve all the SEO problems. Yeah. I don't have to think about SEO the way other people who are not closest copy users would have to think about SEO. Because before closest copy, what do I, would I have to do for SEO? I would, well, I would either have had to write the whole content, then go through line by line to see how the keywords will fit the content. Boy, that, I just dread the thought of doing that. Or when I, I would have had to go find all the keywords first and see how I can come up with sentences, articles, phrases, headlines that match with those um, keywords. Oh, I just dread the thought of having to do all that work like that. So instead of all of that, all I just do, use Closest Copy SEO tools. Yeah, go to the planner, get the um, the outline, try and make sure the outline, it has at least anything near to 25. If it says 52, maybe about half the amount of paragraphs there. It could go more than that, but just as a as a as a suggestion. So what we are doing here, we're using the 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 this as a guide. So I need about two thousand one thousand seven hundred and sixty nine words to two thousand one hundred and twenty three words. I know that's I, that's sort of the ballpark I need because that's been gauged from the first page of Google. I need these amounts of headings. I need these amounts of images. Right. As long as you know you have that, outside that, all you just, just have to do is just go into the, the frameworks and get the frameworks to do the writing for you. Obviously, you are reading to make sure it's all matching and making sense and, and, and working. And I found that whenever I've done that, it's always been unique material. Okay, can I just check? Do anybody have any questions from anything I've said so far today?
so oh cool oh cool cool oh cool okay the the other one i wanted to show you i see nobody has put anything to optimize up let's say you Okay, Ricardo says, you said worry about writing content first. Then let's see, see to the heavy lifting. So worry about writing the outline first. Just outline, write the outline first. Closest copy then does the heavy lifting of filling in with um, keyword related content. Now, I've done a video online for how to make the, the frameworks give you keyword related content. So if you want to learn that, just go into the YouTube channel and, and look for that video. Um, if you don't make the keywords, if you don't use examples in the keywords, in the frameworks that use keyword, keyword, uh, keywords, SEO related keywords, you could write a whole article and it will not catch any of the keywords that is necessary for the search engines to notice that your article is talking about what it is. Yeah, because I've written loads of articles that have been very good that such and you just don't touch because I haven't paid attention to SEO. So whenever I want to write an, an SEO, an article to attract SEO attention, I use the SEO um, friendly frameworks that I've created. So my suggestion would be to do the same thing. Uh, if you want to create something for yourself, Excuse me. Use the, the videos. What is the name of my, of my YouTube channel? I've put the link of the YouTube channel here. Um, the, the name is just, I think it's just my name. I mean, I have stress therapist there, but the, the YouTube channel is just in my name. Adewale Ademiwe. But I've pasted the link. I'll paste the link again for everybody to see. Plus, if you go into the closest copy groups, you could do a lot of search for those types of videos. So if you go into there and search for Adewale frameworks, um, you should be able to come up with some of those videos in the group as well, because I shared it into the, in the group as well. Okay. Any questions so far? There's only Marilyn there that's, that is, that's typing yes or no. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else have any questions so far? Is everything clear? Yes, all clear. Yes, all clear. Clear till now. All clear. Okay. So the other part that I, I wanted to touch on, which is something that is also very common with commonly um, what we have to do with with um seo is you've written the, the article already and you have to now optimize it this is the one that's also very tough because then all you have to go in is the old way of doing it is you go in and you go into each um line look for the keyword see how you can put the keyword into the article um and then carry on that way that's very slow and tedious my suggestion would be this now, now sometimes this might be a hard thing to suggest to people because when we've written our article we are so married to the content that we don't want to change it at all but if you are trying to make it more optimized my suggestion will be to 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 kind of loosen your grip of, of the content a little bit and come into the frameworks um, and just follow the same process that i've, I've done Walk through your article that you've got already. Come here, come into the um, Solos Copy, rerun, run, run the SEO tool. You may even copy your whole article in here into Closest Copy, run the SEO uh, tool, and do the audit as usual. See if your headlines can be changed to match with what the audit is highlighting in the planner change the headlines so that it's working seo wise 
Then with the adjusted headlines, go into the frameworks, the same silo body frameworks, put the main headline of the article in there, put the um, sub headlines in there, and then take the content you've written already. You may take the, take the top of it, maybe take the first two lines, place it in after the body content, and then run. See what it does. If it if it's if it's if you feel oh, actually this is better than what I have there before, yeah, change your change the content because what this is going to do is now give you content that matches with that give, that that's full of um, SEO keywords, SEO uh, optimized keywords, right? It, yes, it means you are changing your content somewhat. But I feel that that's a lot easier to do than going in and seeing how if I how to how to adjust this sentence with this word, how to adjust that sentence with this word, which is just a headache. Yeah. Okay. So so this next uh, um, explanation, I hope that made sense as well. How we optimize an article that's already written. Make sense. I just need some few yeses. Yeses. Yep, cool. Right. So I was actually hoping that I could take someone's article and, and walk them through that, walk, walk us through that whole, um, whole process. But I think I've explained it, that that should be um, enough. So really, we've, we've, we've come to the, the end of what I had planned. Um, can I just get some idea, so some opinions? Has this been useful? Um, what has been the main learning you've taken away from today? I like the silo body. The silo body, okay. Because so, as because we don't have right for me anymore. Yeah. And I think the right for me, a right for me would take the content of what has been written already. But I felt though that it was a bit too um how should I put it? It was hard to control, sort of get the kind of content you're looking for from it. It's too varied and not not as effective as it could be. I feel that that's why that's why Nico has taken that out of. I know he's yes, planning. He told, yeah. Yes, he told me working on something. Yes. Better. That's yeah. what he told me. Yes. I also know that he's he's working on on enabling us to be able to use our frameworks as in a draft, so that you you could just run the draft with your frameworks and have the whole content a lot faster. So. I know he's working really hard on, on some things to make it a lot better. So I see that you're using this Bojan. I see you're using sales AI instead of blog AI. Do you have any reasons to do that? Do you recommend using sales AI? All right. Okay. I have to be honest. I've tried the blog AI and I've tried the story AI. I just keep going back to the sales AI because it just sounds more like me. <laughs> that's that's just my, my honest truth. It just sounds more like me when I use the sales AI. It sounds more like how I want it to sound, the feel I'm trying to get out of the, the text. I get it a lot better with the sales AI. And that's why I stick with sales AI. I'm not saying that's that's the right thing to do. Um, because from my perspective, I believe everything I write is a sales, is a sales um, content. Everything I write. So... Um, even if it's not meant to sell someone to buy something, it still sells meant to sell someone to convince them or influence them in some way to my way of thinking about something. So I'm still selling. If that makes sense. Yeah, you sell an idea, definitely. Yeah. So so that's why I use sales AI all the time. I'm not saying that you should do the same, but it just sort of sounds more like me. Yeah. Um, so Aj says in CC, there's so many SEO frameworks, which one to use when, 
and then there are different mod modules of SEO long form draft. Don't get what to use and when. Okay, so we don't have that much time to go into the the long form to today. If I'm entirely honest, the process I've shown you will get you to your aim of a good SEO optimized article a lot faster than trying to use the the long form system. This is a very good system um, to use. I, I've sort of tried to use it, but I've always just found myself thinking, okay, would I rather use a framework that will give me what I want in two minutes or spend 30 minutes to an hour working with the long form bit? I, I, this is not me knocking the long form at all. This is a very, 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 very powerful tool compared to what other people have. So, um, Adj, you may come in here and use the long form, but my suggestion will be if you want to get to the content faster, just go into the community and look for the SEO SEO uh, friendly frameworks. It's, I call them SEO friendly. And, and look for the ones that are under my name. They are written specifically for SEO, to, to get SEO content. And if you want, you could just stay with the silo body one content and write all your articles using all of that if you want. So that then it's not so complex for you. But for those who are thinking of going more intricate and wanting to dance around with, with the reader, I would suggest... Um, all all those all those frameworks in the in the in this SEO friendly they are very very effective for creating different um feelings and moods and answering different questions creating curiosity for the for the reader whilst still keeping to uh, making sure that you you are you are having SEO keywords in there okay and, and the reason I did that when I go when I go into Google and I type in a, a keyword and I read the first few few blogs, they always sound so so what would I call it so shallow to me. It's like they they, they and I'm thinking okay, it's, but often the reason they are shallow is that the pe people are looking for the easiest fastest solution to their problems. Quite often, the easiest fastest solution will give you just the the icing on the on the on the cake won't really give you the cake um but then that's what people want initially and that's why seo then works so so i, I wanted to find a way where i'm still giving them shallow stuff but with some depth <laughs> that is that's my my thinking and it's been working the the the, the sales search, search engines have been uh, putting my my pages on page one two or three Oh, oh, Google. So I hope that answered your question, Adj. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Okay. Any more questions? Can you make this present presentation uh, table, uh, this presentation available in your YouTube channel? That's my intention, um, Oscar. Is my intention to to put it on the YouTube channel afterwards. I'll just check if it needs any kind of editing and then I'll place it up. And also a lot of people have been were complaining when I first started doing these videos. It was easy for me to do the videos if I didn't have to edit them. But then what happened was the videos were so long because you know you have to wait through the the processing when 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 Closescope is processing each of the requests. So I was use, I was sort of feeling those processing by explaining my thought processes as I'm doing the, the different things, but I got loads of complaints saying, oh, these videos are too long, they're too long. So I started having to edit, but the editing then took a lot of time, which meant I didn't have that much time to make that, that many videos <laughs> again. So I will try, hopefully this one doesn't need that much editing. And if anybody, if anybody's wanting me to edit this one, I will say, please, sorry, go and watch other videos. <laughs> I will be to edit this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll put it out raw. See, that's what that's my intent. Sort of my intention. Okay. Any other questions? 
No, but I, I first of all, thank you. And uh, my biggest takeaway was the fact that he didn't, um, I, uh, you know, I, I'm just talking, you, you can cut me off after, but it's nice That's to fine. interact as a community. Yes. I think it's nice to, you know, so, but the, the fact that what you said that you don't um, obsess about the keywords because they will come naturally after yes. in the content. And then I, I presume if it's something that you really, really want to use, then you could, you know, squeeze it in. Yes. But that was really like uh, the biggest takeaway, you know, because it simplifies the whole process. Definitely. And I guess this happens because you use the planner. So you already use a material that is, you know, rich in, in, in the, those keywords and then AI will do the thinking. So uh, exactly, exactly. But that was so, like a really like a, you know, Ever Mount Everest <laughs> taken away from the, you know. Oh, cool. 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 Thank I'm glad you. To, glad to hear that. Guys. Hear mm. that. Any other points or questions or contributions? Hi, I, I have a question. Yes, please. So if we would like to train the AI to write for a specific niche, let's say uh, for the spiritual niche, okay. how would you do that? I mean, would we have to create uh, frameworks where we can just train it to think about that niche? Because okay. there are some niches that are more technical or more niche-wise, so they don't really fit in the AI training that other people uh, already did as articles. Yes. To focus the AI, the AI to that niche. Okay. Okay. So, for, so just to kind of mention, I, I would be surprised, though, if, if you were to try these silo body content ones, that it doesn't give you... Um, effective content for the spiritual niche as well um I, I i i actually write quite a few spiritual articles myself i'm just picking that one for for, for for as an example however if you want to sort of zone in more all you just need is to find three three to five articles that that are written in the niche you want um, and preferably articles that you know are SEO optimized. The way you will know that they are S SEO optimized is that when you do a search for them, you find the articles on the first page of Google. Usually articles on the first page of Google will, will have been SEO optimized in some way. That's why they're there. To the, to the, so, so once they're in the first page of Google, then you, all you just do is go in there and you, you, you pick the article apart. So you need... You need the content for the introduction. You need the content for the conclusion. And you need a, con a content example from the middle bits. So depending on the kind of article is, if it's like a, what do you call it? Um, listicle. Or a list post, some people call it. You, 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 you pick the list post examples and use that to train your AI. If it's just some, like something that's given a, um, uh, talking about why a problem exists and, the, and giving you a solution to the problem. You use that as the example. So, so you're picking examples from the, from the, from the um, introduction and the conclusion and the middle bits, and then use that to form your own um, framework. So I, I, what I would do the, would be, I would then create, look for three examples for the, for the, for the introduction, three examples from the middle bits and three examples for the conclusions. And then you've got your um, SEO optimized, um, what do you call it? <laughs> framework, All right? I, I wasn't intending to do any kind of ch teaching about the frameworks, again, but that gives you the the, the, the the very fast way of getting the, the frameworks correct. Thank you for the response. And how do you exactly train the AI? I mean, how do you do it? I understand you take three examples from the introduction, the conclusion, and uh, the middle of the article, depending on what you want to write. Let's take, for an example, uh, we want to write about chakras, okay? And we want to write uh, an introduction and a conclusion, and between, we are going to put our personal touch on it. But how do you exactly train it? I mean, where do you click to do that? <laughs> okay, so so... If you if you were to go into the YouTube channel and look for frameworks in my YouTube channel, there is a there is a video that gives you exact 
exactly how you go about training it. Um, it would be hard for me to go through the whole process in this video now. But in that video, I explain the, the, the process of training. And also, I think, um, it, um, what's his name? Nico. In as the closest copy, they do have a, a video specifically for how you train with the AI. All you just need is the the content and three um, hash, hashtags. And the, and the next example of the content and three hashtags. And the next example of the content and three hashtags. But 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 the details of how you do it, you can check that up in the um, in the YouTube channel. Now, a lot of people have still been asking about how do you get effective effective frameworks trained. So I'm I'm having in mind to do like a a challenge, a five day challenge, just taking people through the whole process and getting them. Um, creating all their frameworks for, for, for their own niches from, from top to bottom for the, all the aspects of the websites or, 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 or clients' websites that they're trying to use. I'm having thinking that idea. If, if a lot of people are interested in that idea, it's something that I would just kind of run and, and just help people just brace through because I, I, feel, I feel there's enough content there already to help you understand how to run frameworks. But because a lot of people are asking, it means that there's, there is a there is an unmet need here. So if people are interested in this idea of me running like a, like a, a five-day challenge on mastering frameworks completely, please just kind of shoot me an email uh, and, and then I'll be in touch with you. Okay. So I hope that just sort of answers your, 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 your question. Um, but check my YouTube channel. There's a video there. There's, I think there are two or three videos there that explains properly what you do with the examples and step by step how you go through the process. Okay. All right. Okay. Budget session will be interesting. All right. Okay. Mar Marilena is putting some examples of how how to build frameworks with done by Nico. Cool. All right. All right. So any more questions? No more questions. If there's no more questions, we can call it a day. I have one more question. Oh, just carry if on. I write, <laughs> if I write in another language, do you recommend to write in English and translate it or just to try and write in my own language and to ask uh, the AI to write it in my own language? Now, if the if the, uh, the language is already supported by your if sorry if your language is supported by CC, I would really suggest that you write the examples in your language. It's uh, supported by CC, but it's supported uh, with Google Translate. It's supported with Google Translate. How do you mean, sorry? CC uh, right now, if you go to the left bar and uh, switch from English to another language, uh, CC is going to use my own language with Google Translate or with another tool. I don't remember, remember the name right now. Now, if it's fully supported, I'm, I'm thinking then that you should be able to use your own language in the frameworks. Okay. Uh, so have, you, going to, have, you tr have you tried that? Yeah, I tried that and I put the instructions in my own language. I got yeah. a content, but it wasn't uh, as good as when I tried to write it in English. So again because I, i'm not i haven't really gone into the other languages um with the framework so there may be some limitations there it's possible but i i find that whenever the the framework is not functioning properly then i need to do more tweaking of my of the framework examples i have to do more tweaking of the frame is that me or is that someone else <laughs> i have to do more tweaking of the framework examples um, because there's a way you have to tweak the framework examples and to make sure that they're giving you the right type of content. Otherwise, it will be giving you a, a lot of um, jargon. Okay. Um, Totha Moon says, in my opinion, it's better to use English and then translate later. The problem is that the translation will affect the SEO score as some keywords may not be translated properly. True. Okay. So that that I think that's coming from someone who's already tried that. Tottenham. Okay. Um Marilena said it's better to do English and translate later. Okay. 
but I can see why the the need to 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 write the article in your language will, will save time, won't it? So I hope that's something that gets improved later if it's still a problem. Okay, cool. I hope that answered your question. Yes, it did. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Okay, so we have just um chance for one more, one or two more questions, and we have to wrap up because I have another appointment after Chase. <laughs> Any more? Okay, I take that as a no. Well, you've been a wonderful, wonderful audience. Just thank you for joining me, and, and, and thank you for making sure that I wasn't I wasn't just looking at my own face alone today. <laughs> yeah. So, wish you all well. Thank you. You're most welcome. Bye. Yeah, thank you Bye. so much. You're thank welcome. you. You're most welcome. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.